I am now part of the story. Hey guys, DB Right here, and today I am continuing with a what if that was suggested suggested to me in the comments. Someone really wanted me to continue this series, so why not? And I have the next part of the story planned out, so let's get straight into it. And that is, what if Raditz could see the future? And this told a pretty interesting tale of... Um, of simply Raditz able to receive the gift of foresight from the Canassans instead of his father Bardock. Just simply Frieza giving the job to Nappa, Vegeta and Raditz instead of Bardock and his crew and Bardock and his crew more or less taking on the job that Vegeta and Nappa and Raditz would have done in the original. Whatever planet that was. And this actually led to um, not only Raditz getting the ability to force, uh, of foresight, he was able to convince Gine that Frieza was about to blow up planet Vegeta and that was able to convince her to um, get off world with, um, with his kid brother, therefore say being his mother. And a little later on down the line, seeing visions of um, Dodoria attacking Bardock and his crew, well, Thanks to Raditz's warning, Bardock and his crew were able to get the drop on Dottoria, transforming into their great ape forms, and smashing that pink scum once and for all. And boy was that satisfying. After all, there is no Saiyan alive that likes Dottoria, not one bit. Like, they tolerate Freezer because, well, everyone's scared of Freezer. And well, Zarbon. Yeah, he's just as much of a scumbag as Dodoria, but Dodoria was always worse. So sure of his superiority, never leaving Frieza's side, and well, never getting his hands dirty unless Frieza himself ordered him to. Yeah, no respect for Dodoria whatsoever, and well, thanks to um, Ra Raditz, Bardock, Raditz's crew, along with Bardock's crew, ending back um, on Planet Vegeta, they were able to um, convince about 70% of Saiyans, of the Saiyans, to get off world as quickly as possible. Vegeta choosing to stay behind, trying to find his, um, trying to find his family. And, well, to this, we don't yet know what's happened. And well, since then, the 70% of Saiyans that got away, about 50% of them managed to find refuge on this planet with Raditz, Nappa and Bardock and his crew included and well the other 20% are pretty much scattered across the galaxy galaxy somewhere hopefully staying out of sight and out of trouble and um yeah after all their plan of um revenge against Frieza goes south if um Saiyans get detected but yeah, I wouldn't believe that all 70% would end up on the run planet. I reckon some of them would um, end up on other worlds. Perhaps places that that individual Saiyan picked out as a escape plan if anything like that happened. Who knows? Anyway, so with that, we are now continuing the story. And well, quite a few months have gone by and well, more or less, the um... Surviving Saiyans under Raditz and Bardock's command at this point have begun sort of creating a new society. It's more or less like um, their old society before that technology at this point. Their, t t their um, technology is very limited at the moment. They have um, their space pods, of course, and uh, a few scouters. Some Saiyans who happen to have scouters at the time when they um, left planet Vegeta. That's about it. And well, Luckily, the planet has quite a bit of wildlife and, you know, plants and things like that so they can at least eat and survive. And, um, well, like I said, they have started to build somewhat of a society. And, um, Bardock has begun whipping these other Saiyans into shape. Because a lot of them are lower class, middle class. Basically, the Saiyans who have gone soft through all this, um luxurious living that they had on planet Vegeta 
the Saiyans that who were more or less sure of themselves. And well, th these weren't the Saiyans to be proud of. They weren't the um, warriors that they're to be proud of, you know, like their ancestors. So Bardock took it upon himself and his crew, of course, to train up the lower class Saiyans. And well, Nappa would also chime in from time to time if he wasn't, you know, planting vegetations and things like that so the Saiyans could continue to thrive. And well, one day, another space pod had arrived. And well, this was Prince Vegeta. And he's, um, he's, comes out of his space while he's all disturbed. They're dead. My whole family is dead. I couldn't find them anywhere. And we just managed to get off the planet alive. And well, Raditz, more or less, welcoming, it, welcoming him and, well, Vegeta's looking, did you manage to get your family off world? And well, Vegeta should have already known that. He, um, Raditz did get Gine and Kakarot off world as well as Bardock. And, um, I guess Vegeta is suffering a little PD, PTSD at the moment. I mean, his family has just been wiped out. Vegeta not really sure what to do except that he has plans to um, avenge his family. He wants to kill Frieza for what he has done to his family and to his people. And well, Raditz and Bardock are of course thinking the same thing. After all, that's why they're training their warriors up and luckily their planet is right on the um, out, far out reaches of Frieza's influence. So it's highly unlikely they'll be detected by um, by the Freezer Force. So they do have time, they can train. However, when they, if and when they venture out, they they got to try to keep it to a minimum so Freezer doesn't detect anyone. Raditz does train as well with his father and he has increased his power qu quite significantly over the years. Years go by and he's now hit adulthood. He hasn't had any visions for quite a while, except now, now that he's older and stronger than what he is in the original, by about a couple of thousand. Remember, they don't have access to um, Freezer's technology to get themselves stronger, not to mention under Freezer's rule, they weren't really allowed to train. When Saiyans got stronger, it's, it was because they went on conquest and battled and battled these got battled the locals and got stronger essentially that way the only time the only saying that really got training during that time was really um, Prince Vegeta you know battling battling Cyberman and increasing his power that way that's how things went, worked in the freezer force more or less so the Saiyans were getting stronger but not as much as what you may think because the planet they're on didn't have as quite a stronger a stronger gravity like um, planet Vegeta did planet Vegeta was about 10 times if not a bit stronger than what Earth had 10 times stronger than Earth this planet was more or less the same as Earth's gravity so they weren't increasing their power overall that much sparring sessions would um with each other would get the most benefit, but solo training and everything like that would not have the benefit that did not have the benefit that it did on planet Vegeta. And well, over the years, Raditz is now fully grown, and now he is suddenly having visions again. And he has he's having visions of um, himself talk, reunited with um, Kakarot and Gine, and actually asking them for help and so and um he's also having visions on how strong the actual the actual earthlings are their abilities to raise their power level and sense energy and all that and this raditz feels would become very useful to them if they could learn this trait themselves they could slip by in a freezer space unnoticed they'd be able to 
go for go for supply runs. Um, hell, when when the time comes that they're ready to um, unleash that counter attack upon Lord Freezer, they'd be able to slip in unnoticed. They could be literally breathing down Freezer's neck. And so, with that, Vegeta um, Raditz tells his father his plan that he wants to get on a space pod and um, seek out Kakarot and his mother Gine who are on planet Earth who are, who are yeah who are on planet Earth and um, Bardock more or less agrees with this and you know Raditz was able to determine that this was planet Earth thanks to the vision and um, you know Here, even hearing himself in the vision, calling this planet Earth. So, the good thing is Raditz is not going to get lost. And well, after all, Bardock knows the coordinates to Earth, so it's no problem. And so with that, and with Prince Vegeta's permission, I mean, he is still the prince, so you more or less got to respect the rank, Vegeta does allow Raditz to go. You know? But Vegeta's sort of more or less figured, huh, finally got rid of the weakest Saiyan out of the way. Huh, now we can do things my way. That's more or less what Vegeta is thinking anyway. And, um, well, also thinking, well, you know, if Raditz somehow gets detected by, um, Freezer and gets killed, it's not gonna be any major loss to Vegeta. And, well, if Raditz actually does manage to come back with, um, Kakarot and Gine, well, that's two more soldiers for the counter-attack. So, in a way, yeah, you do kind of got Vegeta, who's sort of, um, working his own ideals, which is more or less against what, um, Bardock and Raditz have planned. After all, Vegeta doesn't get the whole, you know, we've got to be smart about this. Vegeta pretty much wants to attack Frieza. Now, his feelings and emotions of losing his family are getting in the way, big time. And well, Raditz and Raditz does manage to um, find his way to Earth. And, um, huh. Huh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, huh, a bird went to swoop at me just then. <laughs> so. Anyways, where was I? Okay, so Ka so Kakarot is uh, Raditz is reunited with Kakarot and Gine, who are having their reunion on Master Roshi's island. Pretty much, he arri Raditz arriving when he does in Dragon Ball Z, just like in the original. Except his motives are very different than when he arrives in the original. He's not there to recruit Goku into the Freezer Force and into Vegeta's service. He's there quite literally to ask for help and um, he's um, just really happy to see his mother again and um, seeing Kakarot again and Raditz is all apologetic to his mother you know so, some of the times that even he would badmouth his mother for being so weak it's he's just very apologetic and he's just happy that they are alive and he's even more happy that Gine and Raditz are more or less on par with his power level. They've more or less been able to train together over the years and um, more or less um, he's seeing all these other warriors who are more or less not too far behind they are and you know there's even little Gohan here who's a half Saiyan hybrid. You know what this means, Kakarot? You found a race that's capable of rebuilding our own race and civilization perfectly. You know, the Saiyan race is definitely going to survive now, no matter what. And well, Raditz is just happy that he was actually right about all this. And, you know, Gine is unsure about really wanting to cross hairs with Frieza. But, however, her duty as a Saiyan does say that, yes, she has to. And, um, Bulma more or less pipes up, um, how did you get here? Ah, oh, well, I took a Saiyan, my Saiyan part, of course. And, well, he calls it over to him, he's like, yeah, you're not gonna fit all of us on that ship. 
Oh, well, uh, 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 I, I guess you're right there. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to the bigger ships and use those in the evacuations. Freezer would have spotted us. And well, Bulma more or less examining the ship and examining the engine and goes, you know what? We could actually just take this engine from this ship and put it in one of the larger scale ships that my father and I have actually been working on. We could actually get all of us off world to assist you and we could even add a gravity chamber so you guys could train. After all, Reddits did fill them in about Saiyans and how they work and how their training and all that works. And Raditz is very impressive Bulma. Really? You Earthlings are that far along in, in technology? Ha! Huh. Well, whoever Freeze is sent here to do the information dump on this planet really needs a talking to. Hmm. I'd hate to be that guy right now. <laughs> and well, in the space of um, a couple of months, after all, they have a bit more time to work on the ship, Bulma and Dr. Briefs do indeed do indeed build the ship and well it's more or less even better than the original it more or less looks the same but it has a little bit more in there including some proper living quarters so I guess in a way it's bigger than the um, original ship after all you got a house you know the entire dragon team so it's actually got some quarters it's um it's got the grav chamber, of course, um, the operation system, and yes, even Dr. Briefs' cappuccino machine. All present and accounted for. And um, within the space of a couple of months, Raditz has been um, training with the entire Dragon team and trying to get them up to speed. And, well, Raditz is having difficulty battling with the Earthlings. Just due to the fact that he can't, he has trouble sensing energy and can't raise his power level like they do. And this does catch him by surprise quite a bit. And he actually does get beaten in one-on-one -on -one matches with some of the Earthlings. Like Tenshin Han, Piccolo. And yes, Piccolo has more or less joined this, um... Has more or less joined them. He has joined them here because, well... Piccolo hearing about Raditz and him filling them all in about Lord Freezer and everything. Yes, this definitely threatens Piccolo's own plans here. So, Piccolo has more or less decided to join them as well. And well, Piccolo's nature has more or less changed somewhat. He's not really interested in conquering the planet so much. And well, with that, it is finally time for, um, nap, for, um, Raditz to, um, Depart world and the dragon team's going there with him and so is little Gohan they have managed to um, convince Chi Chi to let him train he'd be an invaluable asset especially when um his first training session with Raditz ended up with Raditz getting injured yeah um Gohan got s scared and his emotions got the better of him and he head butted him like he did in the original and that um set Raditz reeling even though Raditz was um a bit stronger than what he is in the original, it still packed the wall up and damaged him quite a bit, enough that he got a bit of a Zenkai from it. And well, Chi Chi of course um, insisting to Raditz that you make sure Gohan does his studying. Of course, he will do a lot of studying, I promise you that. And well, she uh, throws a dino cap in the ship and it's just loaded with books. Oh, you mean that studying. With that, they all depart and they do use the um, grav chamber to um, get themselves stronger. Everyone including Rad uh, everyone including Goku struggling with moving in the um, chamber. Gine more or less also struggling. But DB Rai, why would she be struggling? She was born and raised on Planet Vegeta. Wouldn't she be used to it? You'd think but she, she has spent 20 years away from that planet. You could say that some of her, her strength from that time has begun to deteriorate. 
after all. She did train a bit, but not overly as much. So her conditioning to lasting in stronger gravity is more or less been affected. So she's struggling quite a bit too. And Raditz is just loving this. He is loving being the top dog here. For once. Ha! You guys are weak and a complete disgrace. Ugh, I've got my work cut out for me. And well, over time, they are getting used to it and are getting used to the, um, how the gravity works and they are more or less able to um, train and Goku, the likes of Goku, Gohan and Gine are catching up to Raditz pretty quickly. Uh, the others are still a bit slower but they are able to gradually increase the chamber bit by bit. And this went on for about Two weeks of space travel, after all, with the engines on this ship, they have, the ship is quite significantly faster than the original, and um, thanks to Raditz, who's also learned how to um, lower and raise his power level, they do run into um, a freezer force patrol who are out looking, I know, probably out looking for worlds or just um, patrolling the galaxy. Well, they're able to lower their power level to the point where the space patrol think they're you know it's just a family coming home from their space space vacation or something so they leave um this enormous capsule corp ship alone and um thanks to that they're able to slip by until finally they do arrive on the planet where um the saiyans have been um hiding and making their refuge and um well, everyone is surprised to see not only Raditz with Kakarot and Gine, but all these other new arrivals as well. Vegeta is more or less loathing this somewhat. <laughs> Asking for help. <laughs> it's a complete disgrace to the Saiyan race. <laughs> we ought to just go down there and wring Freezer's neck right now. Mind you, they're nowhere near as strong to more or less do that. And well, with that, Kakarot sees his father for the first time and just um, embraces him in a hug. Very, very, un very unsaiyan like behavior, but however, it does. Yeah. Bardock not really hugging back, but he is very happy to see that his son survived all these years and. Gine as well, and they are surprised with how strong they've become. Raditz included. They're all more or less about on par with um with the prince with that time in the grav chamber. Now remember, their their time in the grav chamber, they did have longer, but because of the earthlings training as well, they couldn't exactly turn it up full ball to hundred times gravity because well they'd all get splattered. So if you're expecting Goku and Raditz to show up and be like as strong as Goku is when he arrives on planet Namek in the original, well, no. But they do have time on their side to train, and well, thanks to this and um, Bulma piping up that they got a grav chamber on board, Vegeta can't help but be impressed by this. Hmm, <clears throat> well, that's not bad, Bulma. Huh. And well, Mind you, the Saiyans do make um, pretty good use to it, use of it. You know, they use it like as a gymnasium, and they are getting a lot more stronger as time is um, more or less going by here. And it's getting to the point where Bardock and Raditz are feeling that maybe it is now time for them to begin their counterattack. And I think that's actually where we're going to leave things for right now. So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this story? Did you enjoy that, um, how Raditz is making changes to the story? How are things going to go with, um, the entire Dragon Team in the mix, too? After all, they have their uses, too. Will they be able to teach the Saiyans how to mask their power levels and raise it at will? So, Raditz's little tactical plan for a surprise attack 
could actually work and be pulled off? Well, all this and more next time as we continue. Don't forget to leave your comments in the, um, yeah, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, if there's any more, um, what ifs you'd like to see me cover, do suggest them. Um, I don't really do crossover what ifs for you guys who have been wondering. Like, um, what if, what if Naruto was a Saiyan or, or things like that. I do like to st stick to my just a Dragon Ball what ifs at the moment. I might, um, do Naruto what ifs in the future. Because I have seen that whole se the whole series of Naruto and could do what ifs of that ser of that anime as well but I'm not gonna do crossover ones where we got things in Naruto appearing in Dragon Ball or things in Dragon Ball appearing in Naruto you know what I mean and well as always thank you guys for um, tuning tuning in as always and thank you guys who have been supporting this channel and yes I will be back again next time Catch us later. See us around. And of course, don't forget to um, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to interact a bit more. And, um, you know, if you guys um, happen to have any fan art of some of the what if I do in this channel, don't be afraid to send it to me. Because I do, I do love fan art. I do love getting fan art from uh, my fans who enjoy my what ifs. You know, we could definitely um, dedicate all that all that artwork to its own video, like I did with the first um, fan art showcase. Anyway, see you guys. I will see you guys next time I upload.